hello guys welcome to my channel and this is Mish today we are going to cook swordfish in coconut milk now for the ingredients one green onion one white or yellow onion two teaspoons of minced garlic a thumb size of ginger cut into small pieces one whole tomato sliced bell peppers you could have green yellow or red and slice into pieces oil for sauteing the vegetables and two cups of coconut milk or one can of coconut milk and a pound of swordfish steaks this swordfish could be cooked as a whole or you could cut it into two pieces so let's start cooking let's heat up a non-stick pan and add the oil Let's add the sliced white onions and break them up gently and saute them until they get shiny. Now let's add the ginger slices and the same thing, saute it gently. Let's add uh, 2 teaspoons of minced garlic and sauté it gently again and until you can smell the nice garlic aroma. Now let's add uh, tomato slices and continue sautéing the veggies lightly. Now let's add uh, bell peppers the yellow bell peppers, green bell peppers, and together with the other vegetables, mix them gently. Continue coating each piece with the oil and saute it for a few minutes. Make sure the veggies don't get burnt. Now let's add the two cups of coconut milk and we will let it boil gently. Looks like gently is my favorite word. <laughs> so you can add the green onion here as well as the salt and pepper. So you season it according to your taste. Give it a good mix and let it boil softly, making sure that the veggies and the liquid don't get burnt. Now let's add the swordfish steaks. As you can see, I cut mine into two pieces, so I could have two servings out of this dish. I laid it flat on top of the veggies, and I gave it a good coating of the liquid, so it will be moist. Now cover the pan and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, uncover the pan and check if the fish have turned white and opaque. You can see the vegetables have wilted and the liquid has turned into the milky color. This part here is optional, but if you want to have a little spicy kick on your dish, you can add red pepper flakes. I actually like it this way. Continue to simmer until the liquid is reduced in half. As you can see, the coconut milk has turned into this nice yellow color. So that means this dish is cooked and ready to serve. I don't know about you, but the best pair for this dish is a steaming hot rice. So make sure you have it when you eat it. Now let's try it. As you can see, I cut into this fish very nicely, no breakup, and the fish is very moist and not dry, and yep, tastes just like chicken. The veggies are very well cooked, and you can taste the coconut milk and the spicy hint of the red pepper flakes at the end. 
This is actually my favorite way of cooking swordfish, so I hope you will try this recipe. I know you will like it. And also, this is lightly based on the Filipino recipe, Ginataan na Ista. So I hope you will try one of my Filipino dishes. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget the notification. See you next time.